Now I know what you're thinking. New York is madness. Yeah, I almost got T-boned, but that's the end of the day. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let you guys know how everything went. Amazing day. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Kept, kept on pursuing, kept, kept on pursuing. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's a pretty dope day out. Weather's perfect, charge the GoPros, head out. I'm like, what the hell? I'm gonna shoot a video, drop something hot. Come to find out, I know you guys have experienced this. Charge your GoPro, when you get there, hit record, nothing happened. So, the first thing that came to mind was, hey, what the hell, I'm near Jane Motorcycles or Triumph Brooklyn. Let me head over there to see if the guys will allow me to charge my GoPro. Optimistically thinking, yeah. yeah, yeah. I must say, Brian showed me a pretty warm welcome, yeah, allowed yeah. me to charge my GoPro, while then, I decided to kind of explore the place a little bit. been trying to talk me into buying a Triumph Speed Triple. Let's take a look together. What I like about Triumphs, most of the line has a more upright riding position. They're very durable bikes, low ride height, very easy to flat foot it at all times, you know, when you're stuck in traffic. They're also, you know, bikes that you can park on the sidewalk and not have to pay $250 a month for a garage. Now, I know you're watching this video, you're enjoying the spot, but I gotta stop it for one second. There's an amazing thing about this dealership slash garage. If you look, when you walk in, you'll see this metal plaque on the floor. It actually brings up the bike, and that's how they bring the bikes down so they can actually work on motorcycles. That's pretty impressive. Let's get back to the video. The owner of the building built it out to build uh, Formula One race car engines and other type of like boutique racing engines. So that's why we were sort of blessed with this amazing hydraulic lift in the middle of the shop. The majority of staff there are very friendly, very welcoming. They're more than willing to show you the bikes and explain to you why, what's gonna be the best solution for you. Also, they're not just gonna put you on a bike and send you on your way. They wanna make sure you're well protected, at gat, all gear all the time. They'll show you what's ideal for riding it throughout New York City. And as you can see, in this dealership, you don't see Daytona. So their main focus is to have everyday riders and people that are not doing street Rossi, so I think it's pretty dope. Let's get back to the information. So your first oil change on a new street twin is gonna be at 500 miles. It's kind of crazy. The next recommended service by Triumph is at 10,000 miles. It's sort of mind-blowing, but that's just, it is what it is. So, you know, it really just goes to show you that the quality of manufacturing, you're just getting these service intervals are getting stretched just because the bikes are that much better. For those of you that follow the channel, and for those of you that doesn't, why not? You should be following this page. Now, I do have an Instagram page right after visiting Triumph Brooklyn. Brian advised me to check out the local area for some dope places I'll be able to shoot. And boy, he did not disappoint. So definitely check me out on Instagram and see what I shot. on the bike, scouting the area. It's beautiful traversing through Brooklyn, man. You gotta see how much has changed, the bridges, everything. Is this an experience in itself, cutting through traffic? you man I keep telling people it's a must if you haven't tried it
Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this new ordeal, this new format I'm checking out. Wanted to do something different. I know a lot of people have been asking me what I've been up to. I've been on my wife's channel helping her grow that. But I'm still here, still uploading, digging the, the movement. So uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.